Peggy 16. Hello, my name is Zoe. I'm in a coma, and this is my story. A year ago, I was living with my dad in Casablanca. I dropped out of uni. I had no idea what to do with my life. Then my friend Reza went missing. Reza's a journalist, and he was investigating a story. Some people were not too happy about that. They tried to kill him. He ran. I went looking for him. Yes, it was a stupid idea, but I had to do something for him, for myself. I follow the breadcrumbs to Watercorp's headquarters in Japan. You probably know Watercorp for their robotic toys, but now they were making a brand new entertainment device, the Dream Machine. I'm sure you've heard of it. It gives users control over their dreams. At least, that's the sales pitch. The Dream Machine was actually designed to steal memories and control people. Reza was close to exposing the truth when he vanished. I'll give you one guess at who wanted him dead. With a ton of help from friends, I finished what Reza had started. I exposed the conspiracy and stopped the Dream Machine from being released. Well, sort of. Watercorp released it anyway, a few months later, but without the mind-controlling, um, features. And it's a success, of course. Oh, and another thing, two things, big things. After being forcibly connected to the beta version of the Dream Machine, long story, don't ask, I was um, transported to another world, a, uh, a parallel world where um, magic is real. Yeah, I know, stay with me. That's where I found out that I'm a dreamer, which is like being a sort of mind wizard, actual Jedi powers, yay. I know, I know, but this is all real. At least, I think it's real, and not, not just a dream. Speaking of dreams, remember the coma? So, my body is lying in a hospital in Casablanca, sure, but my mind is trapped in a different place. A place called the story time. If you walk away now, I don't blame you. It's a lot to take in. And I'm not quite done. See, the woman who injected me with the drugs and put me in this coma? Her name's Helena Chang, and she's involved with the Dream Machine Project. Also, she's my mother, who was supposed to be dead, according to my father, who lied to me. Confused? Welcome to my life. My name is Kia Nalvane. I was once the apostle. I am now a convicted traitor. Tomorrow morning, I die. One year ago, I left Azadir, my homeland, for Mercuria, capital of the Northlands. I'd been sent to this city to find and assassinate the leader of the insurgents opposing our benevolent military rule. But when I arrived in Mercuria, I saw that people here were not as happy about the occupation as we'd been led to believe and I learned that Magicals were not the cruel and soulless creatures we'd always heard about. My convictions were further put to the test when I realized our leaders in Mercuria were corrupt and faithless, and that they were planning to not only destroy any and all opposition, but eradicate magic altogether. When I finally found the rebel leader, a human woman named April Ryan, I could not in good conscience carry out my assignment. There were too many questions. I refused to murder her. And for that, I was arrested and charged with treason. My mission, my faith, my life, they're all built on lies. Tomorrow I die. I'm ready.